Private tutor Sean Ko is his family's sole breadwinner. His average monthly income is about $1,800. He wants to earn more, but is worried that if he does, his two younger children may not qualify for the financial assistance schemes for childcare and kindergarten. If I send all my kids to childcare, then my wife will be able to go out to work. And uh, hopefully, theoretically, uh, the financial situation of the household will be able to escalate. So, uh, overall speaking, it, it sh I should be drawing back more income uh, as compared to now. So, Mr. Ko welcomes the higher income ceiling for the centre-based financial assistance scheme for childcare and the kindergarten financial assistance scheme. Under the initiative, families earning up to $3,500 will receive tiered subsidies based on their income levels. These can range between $60 and $340 for childcare and between $22 and $108 for kindergarten. But some MPs had also raised concerns about rising childcare fees. Dr Balakrishnan said his ministry is watching the situation closely. We've noticed that some, especially private childcare centres, have taken the opportunity of the fact that we have now given more subsidies to all parents to also raise prices. Some of those price rises may be justified if it has been accompanied truly by increased standards, increased and better infrastructure or better quality teachers. Dr Balakrishnan said that the outreach efforts for the various assistance schemes must continue so that a parent does not keep a child away from school simply because of worries about cash flow. Now, the government will also spend some $15 million over the next three years to boost the supply and quality of manpower within the childcare sector. This will include providing more scholarships to those who wish to pursue early childhood education.